Uh, come back together. And, uh, I was reminded um, about uh, how oftentimes the word practice came up. This is something you have to practice. This is something you have to practice. And you know, for many of us who would probably approach worship leadership from a musician standpoint, we forget all the practice that we had to do to get good at our instruments. And so that seems like, oh, this is easy for me. Uh, but speaking, that's really, really hard, and we forget that at one point your instrument was really, really hard for you. And I had an experience uh, a couple of years ago where I was in a group guitar class, and the guitar teacher had us all take our guitars, if we were you know, right-handed guitar players, to flip it over to the opposite side, you know, and to say, okay, now I want you to play a C chord, I want you to play a G chord, and it's just like, oh, I can't do this, right? And then you remember, and then you're like, that's what it was like when I was learning how to play the guitar for the first time. It was so hard, but now I've gotten so good at it, at those simple things like a C or a G chord. Same thing with speaking in worship. It can be so hard at the beginning, but as you practice and you have more and more experience, and as you do it, it becomes easier and easier and easier to do it. You think off your feet and, and so on. So let's, uh, let's turn to uh, um, an exercise. All right, okay. So if you turn over to page 15, 15, and all of the worship apprentices, if you guys want to come up here now, and we'll give some examples, um, but what I would like for you to do is to write a transition focusing primarily on the aspect of linking one item to the next item. So a transition from one thing to the next. And there are uh, four options uh, for writing a transition. And we'll just call the first one, uh, welcome to praise, uh, number one. The second one is from praise to confession, that's number two. And then from confession to receiving assurance. So God us saying we're sorry to God saying I forgive you. That's number three. And then number four is then going uh, in, into dedication. So from receiving God's assurance into dedicating our lives to God. And in fact, that, that very pattern there uh, comes right out of Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah sees the angels in the heavens and, and holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth is filled with his glory. And then what does he do? Woe is me, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live in a land of unclean lips, and I have beheld the glory of God. And then, so this confession moment, and then God gives his, his coal, an angel comes down with coal and cleanses his lips, this, this assurance, this forgiveness, this purification. And then God says, I have a job to do, who will go for me? And Isaiah says, here I am, send me. So it's dedication. So we see this pattern oftentimes in our worship services. And so... <clears throat> What, what we'll do is, let's say, okay, this table, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so that everybody at your table is working on the same transition. One, two, three. Just pick one. I just want, I just want the entire table to do one, together, all right? Okay, so... So what we're going to do here is I want the, the, the WAS to prepare some examples. So they're using the exact same text that you have in front of you here. So if you, you know, listen out for yours. The first two are number one. Second two, two. Second two, three. Last two are number four. Okay. And, so, and what we're going to do is I'm going to have them uh, speak aloud the last line or two from what comes before their transition. So you get a sense of getting into it. And then they'll speak their transition, and maybe if it's if it helps, they might read part of the the next text or song or something. So we'll start with the first one. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. He is our king, and we are his people. Let us declare his glory. Let us sing praises to our mighty God, and singing, glorious and mighty. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the people. We rejoice in God's blessings and his grace. We rejoice in God's splendor 
in his majesty. Let us now join our hearts and lift them up, singing glorious and mighty. together, let us open our hearts and our minds as we ask for forgiveness for all of the ways that we have fallen short. Through Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Amen. Our sins are too heavy to carry, too real to hide, too deep to undo. But while we are still sinners, Christ died for us, so that we may have peace with God through his sacrifice. And Apostle Peter assures us of this sacrifice and reconciliation. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that free from sins, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds, we have been healed. Through Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Amen. Though we know our sins, we also know that we serve a loving and gracious God who is more than willing to give us his forgiveness. In the letter of 1 Peter, we are reminded of this love shown through Jesus Christ. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that free from sins, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. For it is by grace that you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. God's grace is abundant in his kingdom. So let's respond to this grace in faith by singing, Hear the Call of the Kingdom. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. In response to the incredible gift of grace we have been given, let us join together in singing, Hear the Call of the Kingdom, proclaiming our commitment to go and do the work God has prepared for us to do. Take a few minutes now at the table and individually work on them, but then if you get done, if everyone gets done, feel free to go around the table and share them with each other. 